Okay. Thanks for bearing with me while I lost you all there for a minute. Phil's going to be over here on standby in case I lose you guys again. I Sometimes I don't handle situations the best. I just panic and I jump up and I start shouting for Phil because I don't know what to do. I was just trying to play music because I thought that would be fun. And now I can't find my other thing. How do I look? I can't play the music anymore. No. Oh, it's right here. Okay. This would have been a lot better intro if the music was working and all the other things are happening. So anyways, I love you guys. We are here to, we're here to celebrate and have a fantastic time. So I hope that you guys all have a great time tonight because I know I'm already having a wonderful time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys, that's why I say. If I can be successful at this, then you can be successful at this too, because I lost our Zoom and I lost all of you. As you can see me panicking. It's totally fine. Okay. We're going to jump into it, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is hilarious. Okay. Um, so tonight we are celebrating. Hang on. I have one more tough skill. I have a press slideshow presentation to share with you guys. That looks really wonderful. I cannot figure out your sharing. I am going to in a second. I'm gonna, I need, I need this, this to show up there. What? Okay, so share screen. I need the celebration link. This, that one, yes. This whole thing. And yes, in presentation mode, but I need you to share the screen. Present, share screen. Yes, ma'am. I am aware. There we go. There's literally four screens happening right here. It's not, it didn't do it. They yes. I'll see Google. No. Can can they can you see the celebration? Can you zoom? guys see celebration zoom? Yes. Yes. Everyone can yeah. see it. I'm looking at Google. <laughs> I'm looking at a Google screen. Okay. I guess that's working. We'll just go with that. Just don't go far. Okay, you guys. We're here to celebrate. And I'm going to celebrate the everything's going to go really well for the rest of the night because you guys are going to hear from some fantastic people. So we started doing these celebration Zooms last month and it went over so well that we wanted to continue it on for the next three months because I don't know about you, but in my everyday life, I do not get celebrated for like basic adulting. Uh, nobody is standing there cheering for me, clapping for me like, yay, good job, Megan, you did the dishes. Probably because I never do the dishes. That's the problem. I don't really do the dishes or the laundry, but there's other adulting things that I do that nobody's cheering me on for. and so. What we love to do in this business is we love to celebrate you. We love you guys to feel seen, to feel loved, to feel acknowledged, to feel noticed. And that's a huge part of this business. You know, as we get older, as we graduate high school, college, all those different kinds of things, there's not nearly enough celebrating going on. So we truly believe that there is nothing too small or too big to celebrate here in this business. So we are going to go through and we're going to celebrate some people who had an amazing May. And so everyone who is on this list signed up and changed at least one life. And so Plexus rewards that. And so you got a really fun little organization bag in the mail. And if you see people who are on here who are not on these Zoom calls, take a screenshot, send it to them, let them know, hey, you were celebrated tonight. You were loved tonight because we want them to be able to know that. And so then we're going to go on and everyone who signed up three people last month, they got a super fun like ice shaker cup. Um, and so I've seen pictures of people all around where I think we're still waiting on ours. What? Did you ever respond to an email on that? Anyways, we'll deal with that later. Um, because look, Phil is on this board. He's on this leaders board for last month. So everyone Ooh, on here... <laughs> everyone on here added and changed at least three lives in May. Maybe. Okay. So here we go. So we have some more top enrollers 
that are here, people who have enrolled four, five, six, you guys always amaze me who are these super high recruiters because I have never been a super high recruiter in this business. Um, and so I love seeing you guys on here every single month, changing so many lives um, and continuing to share these amazing products. And so now we're going to, we're going to go on, we're going to have our very first two speakers who we're going to share. Our first one is going to be Sarah Kidd, and you guys are actually going to hear from her twice tonight because there's something really awesome at the end that we are also going to celebrate about her. And this girl is a powerhouse. And so I wanted her to share, first of all, I wanted her to talk about being a top enroller for Sarah. How many months has it been that you've been like the top enroller? I do, I've lost track. I don't even know. Um, four, I think four or five months now. Yeah. I saw you do a story post about it and I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh, this girl is absolutely amazing. She's blowing me out of the water. Like this is so impressive. So I asked Sarah to go ahead and kick us off tonight and go ahead and share with us just some of her top tips for being the top recruiter for the last few months. So take it away, Sarah. All right. So thank you so much. Um, and so I want to say, I think the main thing that really helps me is Megan calls it messy work. Like do it messy. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to sit there and think about what you're going to write. Do it messy. People are attracted to that because it's real. Um, so that's one, one part of advice that I have. Um, but keep having conversations. I had three people sign up last month that I've been reaching out to every single month since I started in October and they signed up last month. So it's taken six months for them to say yes. So no doesn't mean no forever. It just means no, not right now. So that's proof of that. Um, the other thing is have events and genuinely be excited. Megan talks about mindset a lot and I can tell, I know if my heart and my mind are not in the right place, people are not going to join me. They're like, um, what she's saying does not match the feel that she's given off. Um, so definitely be excited, be excited for yourself. Um, be excited for where you are going, even if you're not there yet. Um, do it scared. I actually talked with someone this morning and I was like, just do it scared. Like if it scares you, th that's a good thing because you're growing. So do it scared. Um, and don't get a chance to say no. Like at the end of last month, like no one could tell me no. Like, I'm like, look, I've got another voucher code for you. Here you go. They couldn't say no. So um, be consistent. Make sure that you're having conversations continually. Don't just write people off because they will eventually come around. So that's my tips for that part. <laughs> Awesome. I love that. Thank you so much, Sarah. And I want to challenge you guys with that because Sarah is so good at doing in-person events. And so I want to challenge you guys to take you. Phil's trying to help me out with what I can see on here. Um, okay. So I want to challenge you guys for the month of June to host at least one sip and see in person. And so Phil and I, we're actually going to Virginia and we have a bunch of sip and sees that we are setting up for when we go, because we want to be able to maximize our time while we're there. We don't get to see these people all the time. And so while we're there, we want to make sure that we are going to dinner with people, going to lunch, we're hosting sip and sees, we're doing all those kinds of things. Because in this business, there is nothing like that belly to belly, just connection of getting to see people, getting to see their facial expressions, answer their questions right there. I think part of the reason that Sarah has seen so much fast growth is because when you are in person with people, you can close the deal so much faster because you can answer their questions right there instead of waiting for them to respond on messenger. And then they're waiting for you to respond and then blah, 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 and it goes back and forth. So you can either pick up the phone or you can have an in-person event. So drop a one in the chat. If you are willing to take on the challenge to host at least one sip and see in the month of June. 
Okay, awesome. I see lots of ones happening here. Okay, this is going to be fantastic. Okay, the next person that we're going to hear from tonight is Janine. And I asked her to share because she was not only a top recruiter for us in the month of May, but she also ranked up to gold. And so she's going to share with you just a little bit more about her journey and her hitting gold and then what that looks like to be a top recruiter. So go ahead, Janine. Um, thank you. Um, so speaking of uh, Sip and Seas, I hosted my first Sip and Sea in May. Um, so there was so much fear around that because I was so fearful of like rejection and like disappointment. Like, will people even show up? Will people sign up? Like, but like a part of me was like, you need to do this because you need third party validation too. Like my friends are seeing me go go plexus this and that like constantly. And I felt like I just needed to do this just to show like, this is for real, this is legit. And I have real plexus friends. <laughs> so um, and that, and I started posting on my stories. Um, Even though I posted the graphic about, you know, the invitation for the sip and see, I was like, this isn't enough. So I started sending like personal messages to people that I saw were like engaged with my posts and I made it like I feel like it helped me out because it made people feel seen and it made people feel special like I see you girl like come to my house this we're doing that um like I, just for example I had a mom friend who didn't have a sitter and and I said no just bring your kids like my kids will be here too playing I'll have snacks for them like it's fine so I got her to come for that um and then another thing that I started doing in May was um, I got this from Caitlin. Um, I started posting my VIP sign up list. And to me at the time when I started doing it, I felt like it was like a subtle flex, subtle flex like here, but like it, I didn't really realize what it was actually doing. Like it actually helped me out because my friends started seeing their friends sign up and it made them want to join. Like, yo, I have FOMO from all this. Like I, I'm, I'm finally going to hop on and do this. So I was doing that. And then I was aggressively posting people's testimonials. Like anybody who says anything nice about Plexus, I'm like screenshot. And then I would just like pick a day out of the week. And I'm like, look at what they're saying. Even if it was like from the same person, I'm like, I'm going to post it as if it's like separate like text messages. Um, so when I started in April, it just took me a minute to even post my drink. And Kristen would know, Emily would know, like there was so much fear and rejection like I didn't want to get questioned about it like I didn't like I didn't know what to say like I was lacking the knowledge so I was fearful of the criticism and all the questioning but I feel like I feel like May was really all about that like pushing my boundaries and getting uncomfortable and getting comfortable being uncomfortable and um, I started showing my face on my Instagram a little bit more because I wanted people to you know put a face on these products and, and that I've been talking about. So people were starting to notice me, even though they weren't ordering it, they were starting to see me. And I think that's very important too. And then the last thing I wanted to say was, um, I guess, taking on a more of a leadership role for my people, instead of constantly asking my sponsor, Emily, like, what should I say? What should I say to this? I started sending her what I think I should say to something whenever someone asks me something or whenever um, they shoot me like a message and I'm like, what should I say to this? So I feel like the month of May was like all about embracing the lows and the discomforts and the fears and even the disappointments and just accepting that they're all a part of the process and they're essential for growth to happen and that um, they're just as important as the wins. So starting to work on my mindset and being okay with the highs and lows um, and saying yes to things that make me uncomfortable, but I know in the end will um I guess, fill my cup. So that's it. Okay. Is anyone else just like so inspired right now hearing her speak? I'm like, this is amazing. Phil and I just looked at each other and we were like, oh my God, are you listening to her right now? Like, this is so good. Like this is jewel worthy content that is coming out of these calls. And it's amazing to hear. I'm like taking notes. I'm like, yes, I'm going to start doing that in my stories too. And I love that because 
all the things that we really want in life, you guys, it comes outside of our comfort zone. And if you can push yourself and put yourself in situations that that you're challenging yourself on purpose, that's where you're going to see massive amounts of growth. So thank you so much for sharing, Janine. That was amazing. Thank you for having me. No, it's okay. Um, okay, the next person that we are going to hear from is actually Janine's sponsor, um, and that is Emily Allen, and she ranked up Senior Gold last month, and it was so fun to get to celebrate with her when she hit this rank, and so I'm going to let her just share some of her top tips with you guys for ranking up um, and celebrating that and all the things, so go ahead, Em. All right, thank you. Um, so a couple things I would say for May you know, continuing with accountability group, we have a great accountability group, daily IPAs. Um, we make sure to do mindset motivation every single day, because like we were talking, I mean, that's really important to kind of get in the right headspace before you're going to start any of that. Um, direct messages about Plexus or about life. You don't want to just be Plexus, Plexus, you know, all the time. So just asking how people are doing, leaving the conversation open so when they are seeing your stories or your posts that they can feel comfortable coming to you, asking you more questions. Um, in this rank up, I really feel like I was counting on my uplines a lot, lots of communication. I feel like I kind of had to grow more into that leader role just because Janine was signing up so many people too that I was just kind of thrown in it right away. Like I had just hit gold in March and then this rank up for both of us, you know, in May. So it was just real quick, all these things. Um, and of course I was scared to do a lot of it, but you just kind of have to put it aside and just keep going. Um, the other things I've just been consistent in my stories, making sure, you know, you're giving that credibility when you're consistent with something because so many people start something and then stop and they just don't continue. So by the repetition of it, um, I feel like that's really helpful. I have been doing a couple sip and sees. I did a vendor like craft fair and that was good too, just to continue to learn how to talk to people, honestly, because not everyone was interested at the vendor and craft show and that's totally fine. But a lot of people asked a lot of questions and if I didn't have the answer right there, it didn't a hundred percent matter if they weren't really going to like order anything, but I had my business cards ready and it was just good you know, practice for those different questions so that I had an answer, you know, in the future. Um, the other thing I learned that I want to keep trying to do too is the green light challenge, which I was in a session at convention about that, that, you know, just take 10 minutes, go on your Facebook, go to people, everyone that's on this, you know, green light there and just start messaging them. Don't reply to anyone. They said, don't get distracted, just reply and then go back to it later. You know, anyone that answers you. Um, so I would say definitely all those things and just everyone's inspired, you know, by people that are doing the things, all the jewels, everything like that. But we have to remember too, like they worked really hard to get there too. So, you know, we have to continue to do all these things, not to give up, find your why, your reason why you're doing this, um, and just keep, keep pushing. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Emily. I loved hearing all of those tips and things that you shared. I love that green light thing going on because you know that people are active in that. That is such a good tip. Um, and I love how a lot of the things that you're talking about, right? It's practicing. And so that even like that challenge that Phil gave on Tuesday about going out, meeting a new person um, and getting them on your Facebook, it's about practicing so that when you do get to those people that feel really important and you want to make sure that they sign up, that you've had a bunch of practice. And we, when we practice, it's messy and that's okay. And we learn from it. So I love all of those things. And it was so fun to get to celebrate you hitting senior goal. It's amazing. It's a huge feat. And so we are so, so excited for you to celebrate all of our top enrollers, to celebrate our May rank ups. And Janine did, she went fast start gold. So not only did she go gold, um, she, you, she, did you double rank last month or was it, did you double rank the month before? 
Okay, the month before she dove ranks. So she's coming in and she's crushing it. And if you're watching the things that they're doing and you're like, I want to have that same kind of success, notice that there is a pattern through all of them. And it's that they are pushing themselves intentionally outside of their comfort zones and doing things that they normally wouldn't do. And they're showing up consistently to show their audience that, hey, I am really here for this. This is not just a fad. This is something that I'm actually doing and I'm serious about this. So we want to celebrate those. Okay, the next thing that we are celebrating, you guys, was in May, um, we had 11 people go to gold school in D.C. And this was so, so exciting that everyone got to do this and that we had so many people who showed up and were there. What I love most is that actually our team represented um more people at this event than like any other diamond team that was there. So like huge shout out to you guys for going. We do have a large East coast team. And I know so many of you had earned this a while ago and we're waiting for you to be able to, um, you know, go to one that was closer, that was within driving distance and all of that. But it made my heart so happy to see all of your faces there and to be able to celebrate you guys. And I know that you all had so much fun. So you guys sent some pictures. Gold School is absolutely amazing. And the way that you can earn it, if you're not familiar with it, is either you go gold yourself or you help to develop a level one. Um, you help to develop them to be a gold. And so you could actually go every single quarter if you wanted to. And this is such a high level training event that they did not have when I was going Emerald and Diamond. So the fact that you guys have this is so amazing. And so I asked Sharon if she would go ahead um, and if she would share about her experience at Gold School and just what are some of the things that have shifted for her. She has been a top recruiter for us for the last five years, but since Gold School, she has had some massive shifts in her mindset and just in leadership. And so I want her to share about those with you guys. So go ahead, share. Hey guys, so Gold School was amazing, like amazing training. So if you earn it, like I was telling Caitlin, I went with Caitlin and Deborah, and I was like, I wish I would have went sooner. Like I would have flown across country to go to this when it first came out because the training was top notch. They literally like the experience of it. They, this company treats us so well. Like they fed us in the morning, at lunch, at dinner, like they had open bar. It was just like so much fun. Honestly, it reminded me of like convention, but like in a smaller, in a, in a day. That's basically what it was like in a day. And it was just so much fun. And the training was like, it was not boring. Genevieve like brought the heat really like everything that we talked about. So it's, it's like, if you think about this, all the girls that just spoke, the main thing that kept, that you guys keep talking about is consistency and consistency absolutely is one of the main tips that you get off of gold school, like being consistent, your leadership and leadership is something that I struggled with. Like for the past five years, I'm consistent in signing people up. I'm consistent showing up every single day and doing the messages, the posting and all that. But if the leadership is not there, it's, it's harder to build a business, right? So duplicating down and learning now, most of you are, are on here are either like new, golds or even been here for a while like it the duplication part and I know Megan and Phil has seen me over and over the calls like Sharon just duplicate that's all you're gonna do is just duplicate so learning more about that like I really wished what four years ago when I went gold I wish I had this so when you guys hit gold like I really really stress to you guys like you need to make it out there it's a day it's a day but it's so worth it um and they talk about just the the leadership skills and the mindset. So something else I want to talk about real quick is mindset and the shifting that is so important. And they say like, if you can go gold, you can go diamond, right? And it's believing in yourself. So for me, for years, I, be I believe that I'm like, oh, I can do this. Like I can do this, but like saying to yourself, but honestly feeling it inside, like you deserve this. You if you, when you honestly believe in yourself and you have that shift and you figure out exactly why you want this, it starts to change everything because you have a bigger reason to show up a different way every day. So like, for me, it was just like, okay, I just want to get some things covered. I want to pay for this bill. I want to do this, but like, that's not a big enough. Why you really need to sit down. Your why needs to make you cry. 
you need to be like sobbing over it. And it evolves every, it will evolve every single year, every couple of months. Like it will always evolve. If it's not evolving, then you're, you're in your, you're not out of your comfort zone. You're playing it safe. And I played it safe for way too long. And I'm telling you guys right here, right now, I'm done playing it safe. Right. I'm going to get emotional <laughs> right here talking about it. So one thing I can keep saying, I can't, whew. one thing I can say is that you keep showing up, you be consistent. And then when you do hit gold school, or if you are invited to do, to go, make it, make it a priority to go a hundred percent because it will change everything for you. Well, I love that share. Thank you so much. You guys, leaders are born at events. It's a phrase that you will hear time and time again. And it's one of those things that until you have been to an event like gold school, like convention, like leaders retreat, um, or any of those different things, you don't quite fully understand it. And there's all these people who are sitting there telling, you know, you have to go, you need to be here. And it's because we've been able to experience it. And once we've been able to experience it, you're never the same. And every time I see someone who has just really turned a corner or blossomed as a leader, it's typically because they have gone to some kind of event and they left that event radically transformed. Like that's how it was for me. I went to convention as a brand new silver and I determined I was going to come back that next year as an emerald. And this team did it. And it was because I was at that event that all of that belief started coming forward because I realized as I was watching all of those top earners that if they could be successful at this, then I could be too. And I want you guys to hear that on this call as you're listening to everyone give their top tips. I want you to know that if they can be successful at this, you can be successful at this too. If you're willing to be consistent, if you're willing to get outside of your comfort zone, and if you are willing to show up for yourself. And like Sharon said, like keep making sure that your why is evolving and changing. And then it makes you cry. It should be something that you are so incredibly passionate about. So with that, I'm actually going to have my friend Lauren go ahead and share. She is someone who decided to come back and she was a rock star in 2020. Um, and she is like, you know what? I'm here for it. I'm coming back. I'm going to do this. And so I know a lot of you guys have people who are in your businesses or in your life who you really wish would do this, or maybe they gave it a shot at one point and it just wasn't the right time for them. And so I want Lauren to share like what really shifted for her, kind of what her why is now um, and what made her decide to come back and like run. I mean, watch out, you guys. This girl's going to be a six-figure <laughs> earner. Before you know it. She's so driven. She's so so motivated and her story is going to inspire you. So go ahead, Lauren. <laughs> sure thing. You can hear me okay, right? All right. So so my thing was, um, so like Megan said, 2020 is when I was introduced to these products. I was watching Megan for so long. I mean, so long with the products and just constantly posting. I was so interested and immediately I was hooked on the products. There's no lie there that they do what they say they're going to do. Um, and my, my kids immediately, my oldest daughter, you know, diving into them. And um, I, I don't really know exactly what happened for me to, to fall off and to not continue because I had people behind me that were excited about it too. Um, I blame it on life or we can blame it on COVID everything because I think you blame everything on COVID these days, but or before. Um, but so for me, my biggest thing of coming back was redefining my why and talking with Phil and Megan um, about a week or so ago and just talking about why I'm, I'm so driven to really excel this time with it is because I never gave up on the products. I was consistent the last three years was still taking the products, um, still seeing results from them. My kids are obsessed with them. Um, but it was the first week of May, I was on a field trip with my daughter and um, her best friend's mom was on the bus. We were chaperones because I chaperone everything. Um, and she said, um, she was like, so how many days did Sophia miss from school this year? And um, I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, like from being sick, like, you know, she's new to kindergarten, new kids. Like how many times was she sick? And I was like, none. And she was like, Mackenzie missed 16 days of school talking about her daughter. And so we got to talking about it and she was just talking about how, you know, her immunity was this and that. And I immediately just started talking. She's like, what are you doing differently? Like what is going on in your household that's different? And I said, my children have consistently been taking their vitamins for years and knock on wood. Cause I do not want to have this to happen, but we don't go in for anything other than wellness checks. Like I firmly believe it. I'm, I'm behind it. So not only was I like, I already love my products, but I, I was seeing that 
people need to know about these things for their kids too. Um, and so what Sharon was just saying about, you know, ev- your, your why evolving and then Megan talking about why this led into me talking about your why mine has definitely evolved and changed because as my kids have gotten older, you know, I started three years ago, they're now almost six and four. My oldest daughter does not like going to summer camp and it kills me to take her and my younger daughter to, to daycare and summer camp in the mornings, every, every morning, it's making me cry that I can't keep them home with me. And so, you know, we were talking about my why the other day, Phil and Megan, um, in our little conversation and talking about really defining my why this time. And for me, it's time, it's time with my kids. It's time for my, my husband. It's time for vacations. It's time for so many things, but most importantly, it's time for me. It's time for me to really dive into something that I'm excited about. I'm in sales. I love talking to people. I love being on camera and on screen and I'm not a shy person, um, but I'm not doing things that I enjoy. And so I'm really excited to be able to, to use my platform of just my, you know, my, my presence and how much I love people to be able to share you know, why I love the products, why my kids love it and bring people along with me. So that's, that's what I'm most excited love about. That. I love that. Thank you so much, Lauren. And I think so many of us can relate to that, right? I remember when, um, when Phil went back into an office, when we first started Plexus and we moved to Virginia and my kids would stand there at the door. And, and you know, what's crazy is that they don't even remember this. Cause we've asked them about it and they literally do not remember, but my middle one, Charlie, he would stand there at the door and he would cry almost every single day because Phil would leave to have to go to work and they would like chase him down the sidewalk and he'd be so sad. And like, that was such a driving force and a driving factor for us to work this business, to be able to bring Phil home with us. And I will tell you because of Plexus, we had the options like when we hit diamond and we moved out here, they weren't letting people work from home in his job. And he said, well, my wife just hit the top of the company. And he said, either work from home full time or I quit. And we had the options to go to his boss and say that. And you know what? They said, you can work from home. So now our kids see him every single day. They Hunter doesn't know a life without Phil being home all the time. He literally has no idea what that is like for Phil to go into an office. Every um, every few months for a week, Phil will have to go to Virginia and I'll have to go into an office. And my kids are like, I don't need what is happening. Like the world is falling <laughs> apart. And that used to be their life every single day. And now we have options. We had the options to be bold and to go after the things that we wanted because of Plexus. And so, yes, does he still have his job? Yeah, he does. But we have the flexibility and the freedom to do the things that we want now that we didn't have before. So I love that. And I hope that really inspires you guys that if that is something that is driving you, that can absolutely be an option for you and your family. Okay, so next we are going to go on and how this is going to share. She did an amazing um, like women's VIP event. And um, so I'm, I'm going to let her share. It was really successful. And I told her before that she was like, but nobody signed up from it. And I said, We don't determine success based on how many people signed up from something. She has so many potentials. She loved on people. She was bold. She was brave. She learned. And that's what's really important. So you can't determine the success of your sippancies or the success of your brave actions based on what the result is immediately. It has to be based on the person that you're becoming along the way and that you're taking the steps. And when you plant the seeds, then it will bloom and it will flower, but sometimes it just takes a little bit longer. So go ahead and share with us, Alice. First of all, I want to say I'm so honored to be here. <laughs> when I got the message, I was like, what, me? Why? So I am blessed to be here. I really am. Before I even talk about an event, I want to say something regarding that. The event was the same day that I was invited to, I, I work in a, hosp- in a hospital. And the residents that I work with, they were graduating the same day of the event. So I had a debate in my head, oh my God, my event or the graduation? At, at a, it was a wonderful place. So I spoke to myself, how this? You, what is going to benefit to get you closer to your goals? 
going celebrate with the residents. Yeah, I wanna be there for them or continue with your event. So I decided the event was gonna bless me more. I wanna bless more people than going to that graduation. So I, I just wanted to tell you that before that. So that same day, that, gra that event happened in one of my VIPs church. My upline and me had months asking her to do this. And she would say, no, reject us. No, the church is not going to permit that. We're not, I don't, I don't want to do it. So we just, you know, once in a while we spoke about it until one day she said, how this, I want you to come and share. We have an event, come share the products and I'm going to give you a space. Ladies, that day it was pouring. It was cats and dogs. It was horrible here in, down at Florida. And Raquel and me went anyway. And it was a blessing because the topic, we were, we are planting seeds, right? And the topic they were doing was planting seeds. So we took home a pot with a sunflower and soil. So Raquel and me had the opportunity to open our hearts, share the products, a talk about how our transformation, our testimony. And it was just, it was just awesome. But the first thing that I, I was debating with Raquel was that I have noticed that I was so concentrating and trying to make, make a sale, trying to rank up to where I'm trying to get to gold. I'm trying to, I'm going, I'm getting to gold. But so I was telling her, Raquel, I'm so concentrated on making the sale that I feel I'm not being myself. I'm not loving people like I know how this knows to love, how to love. So she said, how this, just be yourself, love on people and forget it. So when the event, there was so many people interested. I have three people that I'm talking. I'm just loving on them. I have them as I'm interacting with them. I, I text them, how are you doing? How's your day? Things like that, I'm connecting on social media, but I'm loving on them now and knowing that that time is going to come. So when I went to convention, I convinced and I knew that uh, keep, keep on loving on people, being there for them, and the ranks, the points, the trips are going to come. So you just have to continue. Just don't give up. Keep on. I'm ready. Something that I know I am is I'm consistent and persistent. I don't give up really easy. So showing up, loving on them. I Like I said, I didn't get a VIP that day but I did get seeds that are planted that they're gonna bloom on their time. So if we love on people, we share what we love that these products and that all that is gonna come on its time and on God's time, because it was his time for us to go and plant those seeds in her church. Now when I wanted to go to her church. So that's my, sorry for today, but my, my thing is, Guys, hey, I'm going to these guys because Philip is here. Ask for that sympathy. Tell your VIPs. It could be anywhere. That was in the backyard of a church, which she said that she couldn't do it because the church might reject it. And we still did it. And for me, it was successful. Yes, I did tell v Megan, but I didn't have a VIP. She said, no, you plant the seeds and you continue to plant them. So love on them. Share the products. Ask for sympathy. Oh, and it will happen. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much, Alice. And I had no idea that what you guys talked about that day was planting seeds. That's hilarious. And so I love the way that that coincided. And particularly that story in the very beginning where you shared about, I had a you had a decision to make. And there's going to be a lot of decisions that you guys have to make along the way. And you have to filter all the decisions that you're making through your big goal, right? That's something that Phil and I did when we were running after Emerald and when we were running after Diamond, we had a goal in mind. And after that, we were filtering every decision through that goal. And is this going to get us closer to our goal or is it going to take us farther away? And so she chose the option of getting it closer to her goal. Now, did other people maybe not understand her decision? Absolutely. But that's okay because it made sense for her and she understood it. So I love that. And I love that you caught yourself and you eliminated the word I'm trying out of your vocabulary. That's what we've been telling people. 
Since we came back from convention, we have had several calls this week and the people will say, well, I'm going to give it a try. And Phil and I look at each other and we go, no, you're not. <laughs> you're either going to do it or you're not. We're, we're removing, I will try out of our vocabulary because it gives you a back door. Right. And the way that we speak to ourselves is so important. So I love that she even caught herself on there. She's like, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to go gold. I will go gold. I am going gold. This is happening. Um, and there is no other option. So I love that. So the last thing that we are going to share about tonight is Sarah's going to jump back on and she is going to share about her Silver Stars trip. And if you guys have never heard of this, this is a highly coveted exclusive trip that Plexus puts on. And most of the people, statistically speaking, who earn Silver Stars then go on to be jewels. I earned it. Caitlin earned it. Sharon earned it. Allie earned it. Um, Alita earned it. My mom earned it. Like there's so many people who have earned this trip along the way and you can only earn it through Ruby and only three people in the entire company earn it every single month for developing the most silver. So when you earn silver stars, you get free flights for two, you get three days, two nights at this luxury resort. You get a tour of Plexus headquarters. You get to have lunch and dinner with corporate executives. Um, you get a spa day for you and your guests. And Sarah's going to tell you all about it because it's so crazy amazing. Um, she's going to share with you how did she develop so many silvers and what did this trip do for her? Because I will say for Phil and I, this trip changed a lot for us. It was where Phil was totally bought into what this company was doing because he realized if they were going to treat me as amazing as they did before we were jewels. He was like, any company that treats my wife that amazing, they have my full attention, like I'm here for it. So go ahead and share with us, Sarah. Okay, so one thing I wanna add to what I said earlier about all the sip and seas. Um, Megan made me super emotional whenever she talked at convention because she said that she showed up whenever no one else did. I cannot tell you, like I have had successful sip and seas but Amber and I have also had play dates with just our kids and no one showed up. So being transparent, always show up. Um, we could have said, oh, well, there's no one here. We're going to leave. No, we stayed. We still ate, had Plexus products. We still had snacks. Our kids played and we still had a sip and see. So that was something that came to mind after that. But Silver Stars was absolutely amazing. Being fully transparent, I think that this put Plexus like it made it real, if that makes any sense. So before, like, I wasn't, I was like, oh, it's, I'm doing good, like all of these things. But whenever I actually saw, met Alec, had lunch with Alec, he listened to what I was saying. Um, we toured headquarters, we toured the, the warehouse, like, it was real, for the, like for the first time, like it was like, oh, wow, this is this is a real place. Like these orders just aren't coming out of nowhere. So um, backing up, whenever they picked us up at the airport, there was a we had our own driver. It was the nicest car I've ever ridden in. Um, I couldn't get out of it. It was like these push buttons. There was no actual handle. So I remember I left Kelly in the car <laughs> at one point. He let me out and Kelly was still in the car trying to figure it out. So um, the spa was gorgeous. The, reach, the resort was gorgeous. They picked us up in this huge van. Um, so the like Megan said, there's usually three earners, but there were only two of us that actually showed up. So it was kind of nice because it was a smaller group. Um, so they picked us up. They took us to headquarters. Um, we had lunch with Alec and it made Alec real. Like I, I mean, if you, usually the CEOs, the presidents, the tops of the companies, like they, they're not gonna, they're like, oh, you know, they don't really have that connection. His heart was truly in it. Like he wanted to know all about us. Like before we got up from the table, every single one of us text his telephone number and he has our number now. Like I have his number saved in my phone. Um, and I know that if I messaged him, he would respond. Um, so that was super special. Um, I got to meet our original rep. So that was also special. Um, but dinner was amazing. We had dinner with Blake. If you're not familiar with Blake, like he was the one that presented at a um, conference about the Plexus Go app. Um, that dinner was amazing. Like, again, he was so down to earth. He wanted to know all about us. 
Um, we were at dinner for like three and a half hours. He finally was like, okay, I have like a, over an hour drive home. I've got to go. Um, but it was absolutely amazing. And it truly, so to put it all into, into perspective, um, I went to gold school the week before. So everything that Sharon shared about being inspired and being filled up it was already starting at that point. And then silver stars just like set it off. And I came home and I was like, you know what? Things are going to change. And then in May I recruited 13 people. So, um, the, yeah, it was all, it was all so amazing. And like Megan said, if they're willing to put that much in to someone at the, that time, whenever I earned silver stars, um, I hit, I ranked Ruby that month. Um, but if they're willing to do that much, like I'm in, I'm in it. Like I know that they're, they're invested in me. So I'm invested in them. Um, but to go back to how I earned it, I hosted 11 sip and sees in the month of February. Um, so I think that, um, Emily said she, like the growth was kind of like a shock. Cause she was like, I'm trying to learn how to be a leader and do the things all at the same time. Um, and that's kind of how I felt. I developed seven silvers in the month of February, ranked Ruby, earned the trip to the Bahamas. Like it all <laughs> happened at the same time. And so, yeah, just basically whenever you sign up a VIP, talk the business immediately and be like, I, I, most of you are probably like me. I'm in a small town. Um, we're not the most wealthy area. So most of my people need help to get their products paid for. Um, so I'm out of the gate. I ask, will you do a sip and see? Sometimes they tell me no. Um, but again, it goes back to what I said earlier. I have someone that joined me in November who messaged, she shared her testimony yesterday. Finally, I've been asking for it for months. And she shared it yesterday and she just messaged me while we were, while we've been on the Zoom. And she's like, Sarah, 12 people have messaged me. Let's do a sip and see. I'm like, yes, let's do a sip and see. So don't give up. Don't give up on anybody because you truly don't know who's going to be the next person that's going to run with you. So yeah, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I absolutely love that. And you guys, she's able to develop so many silvers because she talks about getting their products covered and she talks about the business with every single new VIP that joins her. And instead of using it as an excuse of, I live in a small town and people don't have a ton of money. She's like, no, because I live in a small town and because people need help getting their products paid for, I'm going to help them. So any excuse or reason that you have can actually be flipped to propel you, whereas someone else is letting that shut them down. So when excuses and things like that come up as objections, use that to propel you forward, just like Sarah is, instead of shutting you down. So I love all of that. And I love that she shared that she's had sip and sees where nobody shows up. I have had sip and sees where nobody shows up. I've had Zoom calls where nobody shows up. It is part of it. But remember, it is about the person that you are becoming along the way. And so sometimes when people don't come to your events, those are some of the biggest growth moments that are going to happen. She's like, we stayed there. We still showed up. We had a good time together. Like it is okay for those things to happen. And we need to normalize that a little bit more that like not every single event is going to be a success. Not every single person is going to say yes. Now we want to highlight those amazing things and we want to celebrate them, but we also want it to be normal that like, if like, that's why I love that Helda shared because she didn't have anyone sign up that night, but her event was still a success. And I think that's really, really important. John Maxwell talked about reframing failure um, when we were at convention. And that's such an important piece of this. Now, Sarah, is Kelly on here or is her internet all whack? She's here. Okay, awesome. Here. I was worried. I was worried. Okay. Kelly is Sarah's sister-in-law and she went with her on the Silver Stars trip. So I asked Kelly if she would share. I know she's a little bit nervous and we were worried that her internet was going to be all crazy because of the rain. But Kelly, can you go ahead and share with us from your perspective what that Silver Stars trip did for you as you were on there um, with Sarah? Are you sure she's there? Which one is she? Kelly, you have to unmute yourself. You're muted. Hey. 
Okay, there we go. Awesome. It says you hear me? So I was like, I can't see Kelly. Okay, there we go. Perfect. You're good. Okay, well, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, Sarah invited me to the Silver Star trip to Arizona, and it was so amazing, y'all. Um, I'm not a traveler. It's only my second time on a plane, so um, it was super amazing. Uh, we had some delays, but it was well worth it. Um, we got down there, and the resort was amazing. Um, it was my first facial, and it definitely dis didn't disappoint, um, but I think the thing that um, impressed me the most, I was Sarah's guest, but the people in Plex did not treat me like I was just a guest. They treated me like I was just like Sarah, like I had won the trip. And just like Sarah said, when we met with Alec and we met with Blake, they listened to us. They even listened to me and I was Sarah's guest. And, um, yeah, it did. It, it just moved me. It was, it was an amazing trip. And, and I appreciate Sarah for inviting me and, um, I'm, I'm a very quiet and reserved, reserved person. So I enjoy, um, being able to, to build and, and this experience helped build me convention helped build me. And I'm excited to see what the future holds. <laughs> I love that. Can everyone just give Kelly a round of applause? Cause she was so nervous to get on and share tonight and she did an amazing job. That is part of what we do here, you guys, is we are going to push you outside your comfort zone. I had even messaged Sarah and I was like, hey, I was like, ask Kelly if she can do this. I said, and if her only reasoning is that she's nervous, I was like, we're absolutely making her do this. And like Kristen, I see her on here. She can testify in the very beginning when we were building, we would just make people do things that were very scary to them. It's like, you didn't have a choice. Like you're going to go live on the team page and you're going to share your testimony tomorrow at two. Okay. How does that sound? And people are like, uh, okay, but they did it. Okay. And so I want you guys to know you have permission to be bold with people, to push them outside of their comfort zones in the most loving way. Obviously it's all done in love. Um, but it helps them to become a better person. So I want to encourage you guys for the end of this month and next month, host a sip and see, be willing to do something that is scary, that pushes you outside of your comfort zone, and you will be able to see the growth. So I loved celebrating and sharing with you guys tonight. Thank you so much to everyone who spoke. You guys are absolutely amazing. Let's crush the rest of this month, and I can't wait to celebrate again next month. Good night, guys.